My name's Paul Farrer. I'm a media composer. I compose music for TV, video games, those sort of things. I've been doing my job for about 25 years now. Uh, I started in the music industry professionally when I was 16, when I left school. Um, and every day I get work in from broadcasters like ITV, BBC, and they send me shows that they're working on or in development with. And I have to come up with various bits of music for it. Sometimes it's a theme tune, sometimes it's a whole suite of music, beds, various different bits. Um, sometimes it'll be a bigger project. Um, sometimes it's just one piece of music, sometimes it's 70, 80 pieces of music. Best advice I could give is start early, focus as hard as you can on what you want to do, get good at what you do, never stop doing it, and just keep producing music in as many wide varieties as you can, not just the ones you enjoy doing, the uncool stuff. That's where the fun is. Uh, the three top things are the range of projects that I'm asked to contribute to, amazing projects with amazing people, people that are being in the media, people that are exciting, people that are making incredible things, and they ask you to be a part of it. If you're a composer, if you're a musician, anybody ringing you up and saying, make some music for me, is a privilege. The fact that they're gonna say, make some music for me, and we'll pay you to do it, is an unimaginable privilege. And the moment that you forget that, you're sunk. That's a fantastic benefit. The other fantastic benefit is, um, you get to set your own hours. I can work anywhere. Um, I've got a house in, in Spain, I've got a house in London, and I just take my, I've got a copy of the studio there, so I just take my USB stick with what I'm working on I'm there. I can work on the train, I can work on a plane. So wherever you are, your job follows you around. Technology allows it to be portable. You whip out your laptop, you get it done, you send it off. That's a fantastic, brilliant thing because it gives you huge freedom in your movements. You can go anywhere. Um, and the other thing, of course, is that if you get it right, and if you get on a project that does very well, um, you can be earning royalties, you can be collecting performance royalties and mechanical royalties you, um, you know, every time that's on in all corners of the world. In other words, you are making money when you sleep, um, which is kind of the, 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 the holy grail of any employment, really. The central equipment that I cannot do without is my sequencer which I run on a small little Mac Mini, it's Logic. Um, but I wouldn't say that Logic is the best one of doing it, it's the one that I've grown up with, because I've grown up with the software over the last 20 years, working starting from an Atari and seeing it grow. I would say a piece of software or a music system that you know intimately and can get results with is 10 times better or more useful to you than an expensive system that you don't fully understand. Uh, I, I've always said, you know, six sounds that you can work with well are better than hard drive full of plugins and stuff that you don't navigate your way around. I once read a great quote where they said, you know, some of the best graphic designers in the world only ever work with like half a dozen fonts. And you think, yeah, that's actually, that makes a lot of sense. It's like saying, well, these are the tools that I use to get the certain things that I need to get where I'm going to, and I'm going to know those intimately. I know a lot of people invest in computers and need extra RAM and big screen and huge sounds and stuff. And you really don't need to do that because what you need to do is you need to look at these as being the tools of your craft and being good with those particular tools is important. Nothing else matters, really. Speakers, hard drives, microphones, keyboards, they're all brilliant these days. 